Okay, this is our um, bucket truck. Well, it used to be a bucket truck. It was on old International 1700, I believe, or 1800. We had two of them. I can't remember which one this was. And when that motor was getting tired, and it never really started or ran right, so we put it on this. This is an old trailer my dad built, 88. It weighs about 3,000 pounds empty before we put this on. So, see, that's the old boom came from somewhere down by Foxborough, Massachusetts where the truck came. That's actually an old diesel fuel tank. Can't remember what, what that's off of, but that's what we use for the hydraulic reservoir. That's an old snowblower engine with a gear reduction. And I'll start it up for you and I'll get up inside the thing and show you how it runs. Cows, 
2002. We had like six or seven of those, and we just cut that one half, brought it over here, put two of them right next to each other. You know, we use them for hay storage, and in the winter we put our four 600 in there. See, those are our raised beds we made. And there's some more of those overseas containers over there. We have two, well, actually one's an overseas container and one's a 40 foot trailer off a long haul truck. And we connect them together and we use that as our weld shop. I'll probably do a video in there sometime. And then we have an old bread truck right next to that, that's for storage. It's all state land behind us over there, so we don't really own that. We aren't supposed to do much on that. That's our, up there, that's our driveway goes up there. And my cousin's house lay over there. It's hard to bring it down right now. I'll show you up close a little bit and how we. Probably more interested about how this thing works anyway. You don't use this thing a lot, it messes it up a little bit because everything's backwards. It's actually completely opposite from down there is what it is. That's the levers that are on the hydraulic lines actually. I know it doesn't have an air filter, but that kind of got cobbed off when we had an ice storm. We had to take this motor apart. See? Yeah, it also had electric start. Came out. That's a, added the bonus of having it being a snowblower engine. Or we'd have pull start like I started it here. Just an average. I actually think this is a 8 horse. Yeah, an 8 horsepower Briggs and Stratton. Gear reduction. There's our hydraulic pump. It's not a two stage. It's, I don't know, not, not very fast. Four gallons per minute, maybe. And those are the other levers I was telling you about when I was up there. That's the stand that the bucket's on. Bucket, we have the secondary boom right there, the main boom. And that's our bucket trailer.